What's up guys, you're on with me, True Buffer Life. You can see it's a little wet out here. Getting some of that Hurricane uh, Joaquin or Joaquin, whatever you want to call him. I can't even pronounce that name. But I'll show you when you're walking through the woods, most people don't realize this. It's, if you look off in the distance, it looks just like everything's clear. But you tend to walk in spider webs a lot of the time. So what I've learned to perfect this method, because I, I don't, I don't, I'm not really scared of spiders, but I just don't want web all over me. I just hate the thought of just all that stuff all over me. It's kind of crazy. I'm not scared of the spider, but I just don't like the web on me. So what you do, you grab a stick, and you just swirl it in circles when you're walking through the woods anywhere. I mean, of course, you're looking out for stuff on the ground, too, at the same time. Make sure you don't step on no spy. I mean, no snake or nothing like that, nothing crazy. But as you go, <laughs> you simply just twirl, 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 wherever you go. I mean, because I'm telling you, sometimes you'll look, and it'll seem like there's absolutely nothing there. And then, boom, voila, out pops a spider web or a spider or whatever, sometimes a nest. But what I'm going to do, see, I got me a little tripod set up there. I'm going to show you guys, I have a, um, I got this off the net. A guy was selling this 20 bucks, about 50-something foot. And this is Tropical Ivy or Yale Cordage um, Double Braid. But I was able to splice it, um, and I whipped it, too. On both ends, um, one side checked out a little bit better than the other, but just using it for a little tagline or something, not really doing nothing special. But in this video specifically, I wanted to show you guys how to coil a rope. So I'm gonna say, Yo, what's up? You're on me, Tree Boy for Life. Like I said, I'm gonna show you how to coil this rope up. See, this is what it looked like finished product, something like that. And I'm gonna undo it. Of course, you can throw this down from the tree or wherever you got it, and it should uncoil pretty easily. But all you do, you figure out how long you want the coil to be. If you want it to be that long, okay, or if you want it to be almost to the ground, whatever you decide. And I'm left—I mean, I'm right-handed, so I pull to from my right-hand side. So you figure out which which way you want that to be. All you simply do is about chest length. I exaggerate that a little bit, and then you twirl. You see how that rope can twist? You twirl it, keep it straight like that. Again, go out, chest length, and as you come in, you gotta make that little twirl. And you'll find the, the faster you get at it, the more proficient you'll be. Make sure you either twirl it to the right or to the left to make sure you keep those loops kind of uniform. And keep a grasp on this left-hand side or your right-hand side, whichever you're using, to kind of keep these loops in check. You don't want them twirling around while they're down here. So keep that hand, keep it held tight. Okay. Got off there a little bit. Start again. Lastly, you wrap it. Now, I like a lot of wraps, so you can keep your tail in kind of long, depending on how many wraps you like. You can even drop one more down and wrap it, so I'll, I'll do it really long, and I'll show you. Wrap, kind of sit it up there. Boom. Kind of form like a bite. Again. Kind of 
Coming to that back side. Formal bite. Do two. Some people like doing two. Like they'll do one bite, they'll feed it through the same way. Feed it through there, make two, make a little bite. I can get my fingers through. And then lastly, they would simply just run this part of the rope through. It's different with splice um, ends like this, a little harder because of, of the splices. Should give myself a little bit more rope. There we go. So however you decide to tie it off, you can see how you coil. That's just a simple coil right there for you. Peace. Most of life. We got, I'm helping my buddy do one of his, um, this is a tree work um, storm damage right here. We're just cleaning off this roof, we got wood. We, cut most of this stuff up let it fall in the back ain't nothing but scrap metal back there so we could just drop it and you can kind of see right there in the, in the roof that's where it hit most damage and, 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 the, and the main weight of course is on that corner but I want to show you guys something it's a big old caterpillar look at that bad boy I'm going to put this bottle up to him to give you an idea how big he is that's Aquafina he's about as thick as a, a middle finger almost Got that back attaches on there. Somehow these suckers hold on, man. All right, back to work. Yo, what's up? Get my skinny on, so y'all can see. There's a little loose pond. But there ain't nothing yet. Wait till you see this. Look at that right there. I'm way up here. I don't know if this camera will adjust. There we go. Just cut down one right over here. It was a little bit taller than this one. And um, we got one more dead one over here. You can kind of see it right there. It's right there. Over there somewhere, if you can see it. There it go. But I just wanted to shoot this quick video to show you guys something. Like, when you're tying off into, um, you got these little ponds, like you can see they sway. Now, Grant, sometimes you have to climb them without any kind of, um, any extra, like, tie-in. But if you can tie in to another tree, like I am right here, I'm tied into this bigger pond to counteract the swaying on this tree so I can kind of keep a nice tight grip on it. And even if I excel above my tie-in point, I'll have a backup plank. So I'm going to have to go all the way up this. Um, if you can see down here, um, I got a fire pit. I got more. Well, this is like a drop zone right here. Um, and then, go around here, I got a cedar right underneath me. And then I have another little tree right there. So it's tight, you know. Even though we're in a natural area, it's still tight. So you have to, you know, most of this stuff is so tiny, you can see it. It's, I'm going to just cut it and throw it over, you know, throw it, lay it right over in the hole right here. Could top it, rig it, and everything. But I'm just going to take it piece by piece since I'm taking my time today. But just wanted to shoot that. So if for you new guys, I know a lot of you other guys know about this. But if you can at all possible, when you tie into one tree, go ahead and get your line set up in another tree. It'll be a lot easier for you to go send that tree, especially with it moving like this. Because I can, I mean, you can see. Let me see if I can kind of see how that thing is swaying. See that? The wind's blowing a little bit. But that's me swaying. That's how it does, though. That's how these ponds are notorious for that. But I'm grateful the wind ain't blowing as bad as it has been. But you're on with me, Tree Boy for Life. What's up? Chilly. Yo, what's up? On with me back again. I got that tree over there that was standing. Now I'm still tied in the same spot. If I was smart, I would have went ahead and reset my line a little higher. But I figured the trees about the same. But I meant to throw it around at least that one limb. So I got some way. I'm tied in three times. I'm in a dead double leader. 
while. I'm at least about 15, 20 foot up from the V there. Dogwoods. So here's what I plan to do. I'm going to take this piece right here and I'm going to drop it right over there and it's open. It's clearing. These two pieces I'm going to clear. It's a clearing right after these dogwoods. But the bit, the, these main two pieces right here, I'm going to clear them. I'm going to jump them over there. Even if they get caught on, they're going to just go straight down. That way they wouldn't damage it. Not too many guys like a dead double leader like this. So we about to hit it, man. This T540. free and clear. It's just dead wood from here on out. What's up, y'all? Yo, what's up, you guys? Hey, I just wanted to show y'all something. You know, I know you guys probably wondering why I keep really long lanyard, lanyards, um, and I keep two in particular. Now, what I did, I basically traversed over the tree. Really nothing major, you know. I could have swung over here, grabbed a limb, but I was just fortunate enough that I had limbs that I could actually walk on right here but i'm in a big old looks like almost a double liter turned triple liter maybe quadruple liter um pond um it's one base at the bottom not two different ones it kind of splits there in the middle can't see it but we out here in the natural area we're just dropping these but i'm gonna have to get a rope around these we're gonna pull this out into the opening right there so we're gonna try to drop it over in here best way we can this one when i swing back over i'm gonna top it out and so what you do again you, you go the higher you can tie in, the more leverage you'll have. I mean, it's just no way around it. The better you can you can do whatever you need to do in the tree, cutting this or cutting that, moving here, moving there. The higher you are, the better. But you can see I got one lanyard. Um, again, the rope, rope, a uh, rock exotic, exoticas, um, rope grab. And see, with the hitch climber pulley, I can even use my second lanyard that I use. And all I use it for is just as a keep me from falling back, since this is just. I mean, it's not necessarily I don't need that. I mean, a lot of guys just swing over here without tying in at all, but I tie in. I don't care about it. nobody else. It's just our role. Got to tie in. Um, and we probably about right here at this point, probably about 40, 50 foot up. Not too bad. You can see the ground a little bit. But I'll try to get the footage of me topping this one out, this big boy right here. See if I can't get that for y'all. I'm the one-handed bandit with the T540, man. All right. See, I'm already almost over here. And plus, I've traversed all this. You can see how thick and grimy that would have been if I had to climb that. See all that ivy, poison ivy? It's unreal. All these ponds, dead as a door. And they're both of them, almost. Kind of like them other ones y'all just seen in those last two videos I shot. So, hey, keep tuned. Stay tuned. And we'll just see what we can't do with these bad boys to get them down. Two lanes. Long lanes, baby. Oh, oh. Okay, we got a rope tied in, ready to pull that one. Again, long lanyard, I just let out of it here. Yeah. It's more of a control type setup. Just let it slide. So it gets over there and I'll pick it off and put it around the tree. But I'm about to show you this guy. We're about to put him, let's put him to sleep.
Parabéns.